Day 3 Honoring the Lord Honor the Lord with your wealth, with the first fruits of all your crops. Then your barns will be filled to overflowing, and your vats will brim over with new wine. Proverbs 3, 9 to 10. There are many scientific laws governing the physical universe in which we live. Gravity, for example, keeps our feet firmly on the ground and makes things feel heavy. If you drop something, it will always fall downward. This is the fundamental law that holds our universe together, keeps planet Earth in place, going around the sun, and keeps the moon in place, going around the Earth. We all know the importance of respecting these physical laws and are careful not to fall off the edge of a building or a cliff, for we know that if we do, we will come to harm. In addition, to all the physical laws that scientists have discovered, there are spiritual laws within God's spiritual universe. God has told us about these in his word. If we ignore these spiritual laws, then there will also be consequences. Knowledge of God's spiritual laws is intended to be a blessing for us if, for instance, we choose to do those things that God has told us not to do, such as worship idols or commit adultery, then we are putting ourselves outside of God's protection, and that is dangerous. It is like trying to defy gravity by stepping off the edge of a cliff. If we fail to do the things that God has told us to do, such as honoring our parents, then we will miss out on many blessings that result our scripture for today highlights one of those spiritual laws through which God wants to bless us, honoring the Lord with our wealth. To honor God means to worship Him. We worship by our love and obedience to Him by giving him our time, by listening to his voice, by doing those things that please him, by singing his praises. And one of the spiritual laws that is in, in strict to our relationship with God is that when we honor him, he chooses to bless us. Deuteronomy 28, 1 to 14 shows us some of the many ways God chose to bless his people when they honored him with their obedience. An important part of honoring God 
is to give to him the first fruits of whatever he leads us to do, to bring to him our tithes and offerings, and to give with thankful hearts. When the Lord prompts us to share with others what he has given us, that is worship, and as he we worship by responding to the promptings of the Holy Spirit to give the Lord chooses to pour back upon us his blessings in his way and in his time. We do not give to God so that we will get a reward. That is the selfish deception of what is sometimes called the prosperity gospel. But when we give to him because we love him and want to worship him, then God has promised that we will know his blessings in our lives and we can trust his word. For as Paul expressed it so powerfully, my God will never will meet my God will meet all your needs according to his glorious riches in Christ Jesus. Philippians four to nineteen. Thank you, Lord, for the amazing promises that are in your word. Forgive me, Lord, for the times when I have withheld from you my worship of giving. Help me, I pray, to learn how to honor you with everything you have given me so that my giving may be a blessing to others and to you. In Jesus' name, Amen.